Hi everyone, this is Vicki. Welcome to my channel. This is a video on some things that I've made that I am going to be giving to a co-worker who has offered to put my basket on her shelf. She has one of those indoor flea markets and I'm going to see how well these do. She's told me that it is a very busy place. They're open seven days a week. So I hope to be able to sell these. All of these basically came, as far as the notepads, came from Dollar Tree. This is a green one. It's just an ordinary little notepad. It's a sticky notepad inside. I also made this. Try, I've a lot of stuff on these scrapbook paper. The problem is, is I overbought. Now these I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, I just stick a Dollar Tree pin in it, so I'm hoping to sell these for three dollars just as they are. I did nothing else to them. I was going to add a little notepad inside of it, but I changed my mind. I want to see if these sell at three dollars a piece. Now these, I got this idea on YouTube. It is a little clear acrylic frame. So I added a Dollar Tree sticky notes to it, some stickers, paper, and then where the picture goes, I put paper in there. The same on this one. Uh, the notepad came from Dollar Tree, the acrylic frame, and the buttons also came from Dollar Tree. These are sticky notes that I got from Dollar Tree, this, and the buttons, and this is my scrapbook paper. Same with this, sticky notes, and just scrapbook paper. Uh, this came from Dollar Tree, the little flower. I tried to match the paper somewhat to the um, paper and the notebook. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't talk. The little notepads, I tried to match them to the paper. Now, these are magnets. I got a little creative in thinking, well, actually, let me back up. This was a failed card making one. I got these shaker stickers at Dollar Tree, and I was going to make cards, and they didn't turn out so well. As a matter of fact, this was the first one and it came out a little bigger than planned because I was making a card. These are Dollar Tree little stickers. This one, I thought it was all girl ones. I didn't realize there was a baby one on this. It says, it's a girl. Again, it's my stash with the Dollar Tree stickers of the glitter, st not glitter sticker, jewel stickers, I guess you can call it. And again, these stickers from my stash. These are smaller. I made these magnets a little smaller because I liked them. This was actually probably the last one I did. This was the second one. I should say the third one. I actually had four. I was trying to make six. I take that back. Six. And one just came apart on me. And I was so sad because that was the girl boss one. Again, these came from Dollar Tree. And this one, I have to say, is my absolute favorite. I was really happy with how it turned out. It is a Dollar Tree shaker sticker. Um, these stickers, I have had these stickers. I got them at Michael's back in the 90s. That's how old that stash is. And I just paired it with some cardstock that I've got that's glittery. I mean, I love how it turned out. Okay, everyone, that is it. Wish me luck. I really hope that these sell. Again, I'm just going to put them for $3 each. I really enjoyed making them. I mean, this is what I love to do, especially with all the paper and cardstock I have. And I'll tell you, this is not easy for me to do because it's all stored away in totes. It's not like I have a craft room where everything's accessible and I could just grab this and that and lay it out and look at it. I have thought about coming up with an idea of making little 
kits that I can work on so that when I do have time to work on them, I can just grab the kit and sit down and do it. I have yet to do that. I have uh, not had a lot of time, and so when I do sit down to craft, I do what you see in front of you. So maybe next time I do a video, I'll be able to tell you that I put together several kits before making the projects. All right, everyone, thank you for letting me share. I hope you enjoyed this. I am really proud of how my magnets turned out. Again, this one is my favorite. I just love that. I hope this inspires you if you have any ideas of wanting to do this stuff. I have been on YouTube videos looking, and I love the ones that have the Craft Fair series, or I think the other one is Craft Fair Bazaar. So if you look under those and you want to make one of these, that is the place to go. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll hope to show you some more soon. And again, my videos are not edited. The bloopers, the uh, tongue-tied, everything. Thank you for your patience. Love you guys. Bye.